I will get up early and she will sleep in. She does not want to be bothered in the morning. She loves to run around. She gets really excited. She'll be going full throttle and all of a sudden put her shoulder down and do some rolls or just stand there and look at you and then all of a sudden stop, drop, and roll, like all over. What drew me to Beth first was her cute face. I mean, look at it. I wasn't looking for a dog, but when I saw that face, I was like, she's gonna be mine. Dibs, dibs on that dog. Then I wanted her more. I was like, oh yeah. The pound picked Beth up on the side of the road. She wasn't chipped, uh, she wasn't spayed. No one was claiming her. That's where the shelter, they went to spay her and she flatlined up on the table. They had to bring her back to life. They noticed that she had a big um, mass on her back paw. They determined that she had a tumor. The only options were either chemo for the rest of her life or just to take off the leg. So they opted to take off the leg. I reached out and I said, hey, you know, I'm interested in adopting that dog. And they said, well, we don't know if she'll make it through the surgery, but we'll put you on the list. And everything worked out. She made it through and I got her a month later. She really just goes with me everywhere all day long. We go to the park across the street. She gets very antsy to get to the park. It's kind of like when people have babies and all of a sudden like they're just posting every picture of their baby. Um, I was doing the same thing. <laughs> Bethany, where did you get that? We're just goofy. I think the biggest impact that she has had on my life is just companionship. I find myself talking to her, or like I'll sing to her, I'll read client emails to her. I think that's really brought a lot of light into my life is just having her overall companionship. If I don't have her, people are like, uh, where's Beth? It's pretty cool.